about evidence-based investing, what we're really referring to is academic evidence. Now, some financial professionals are dismissive of academic research. They say it's too far removed from the realities of today's financial markets. True, by their nature, academic models are theoretical. But that's not to say investors can't learn practical lessons from them. Here's Gerard O'Reilly from Dimensional Fund Advisors. Academics come with models of the world, and those models are usually incomplete. But what you learn from the models, you gain insight about the real world from the models. The models have to be incomplete for you to learn from them, but you do learn. You can gain insights about better ways to invest, better ways to structure portfolios, so that when you come to the real world, you're better equipped and have better frameworks to make rational investment decisions. So academia, by its nature, has to simplify the real world so that you can understand the real world better. But that's the beauty of how academics approach the problem. They simplify it just enough so that it's real enough to be interesting, but understandable enough so you learn something. Dimensional is possibly unique among asset managers in that everything it does is based on empirical evidence. Over the years, it's worked with some of the biggest names in academic finance. Jean Fama, uh, who won a Nobel Prize a few years ago, uh, is an academic that we have been very closely uh, related to since the founding of the firm. Uh, along with Ken French, uh, who's a, a co-author and, and a very close collaborator uh, with Jean Fama. And what we've used from their work, and they have shared their work with us and the world uh, over time, is really the intuition that their work has uh, given to us about prices, security prices reflecting information. Other academics are academics like uh, Robert Merton, who also won a Nobel Prize, Myron Scholes has won a Nobel Prize, and their work has given us also tremendous insights, whether it's in life cycle finance or in how to structure uh, portfolios. So there to name just a few of what I would call some of the great academics in finance, and there's many more, many more that we're associated and that we work with. Um, but they have, uh, the work that they have done has really uh, led to some big innovations in the field of, uh, of practical investing uh, that I think Dimensional has been able to use uh, to the benefit of our clients. The most important contribution that Pharma and French have made to our understanding of the financial markets is their three-factor model and an updated version, the five-factor model. In a nutshell, Pharma and French demonstrated that certain stocks, for example, value stocks, small company stocks, and stocks of firms with high profitability tend to outperform the market over the long term. We think that there are differences in expected returns across stocks and across bonds. How do you identify those? What's the intuition from the three and the five factor model? Lower price, higher expected cash flows, higher expected returns. So we say, how do we structure portfolios? Let's look for low price stocks relative to some fundamental measure of firm size, high expected cash flow, i.e. high profitability. That's higher expected returns, let's overweight those stocks. It's not necessary for investors to have a detailed understanding of the work of Farmer and French, but it pays to use an advisor who does have that level of knowledge. Academic research, does provide us with insights that you as an investor can benefit from. Mm -hmm.